So our next step is to buy a web host for our WordPress website. And for that, we will use interserver.net. So this is their homepage. I mean, this is their sign up page. So you have options to enter your email address and password to log in or sign up for a new account. Or you can also use other methods like Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. So since I already have an account, I will just choose Google+. And that's it. I'm in. So as you can see, they have VPS. You can also buy domains here and web hosting. So for today, I'm going to teach you how to buy a web host. So I'll just click the button that says buy more. And here is the order form. Now, under packages, there are other options. I don't know what the others are, to be honest, but I always choose standard web hosting. And then I will enter the domain name we bought earlier today. So that's cherryannbaliktar.com. Then it's checking if the domain is available. And I'm getting a notification that it is registered. So proceed only if you already own the domain, which I do. So I'll just continue. And then choose a billing cycle. When you click the down arrow, you have a lot of options. You can do it on a monthly basis, on a monthly plan, six months, yearly, 24, up to 36 months. And they're giving you discounts, like up to 20% off. But for, for this tutorial, I'll just do monthly. And again, that's $5 per month. And then I don't have a coupon code, so I'll just leave it blank. And then click here, check the box that's, that says I'm agreeing to the terms of their service. And then click proceed. All right, so again, it's just giving me a confirmation about what I am buying. So click place order. And it says, thank you and process the payment using the options they have available. I'm going to use my PayPal account for payment and I'll be back. All right. So after I clicked um, pay using my PayPal account, I was redirected to my PayPal account, processed the payment for $5. And then I went back to interserver.net to confirm if the payment has posted. So I'm going back to the home page, click web hosting. And there it is. It says active standard web hosting. All right. So you click this to view web hosting. And there you go. It says here that it's active. It's built every month. And I can now go ahead and uh, install WordPress. All right, so next, I'm going to teach you how to install WordPress using the cPanel. All right, 